Hello there, David here from londonsafes.co.uk and we're having a look at something quite new and this is a wall safe um, from Technomax in Italy um, but it's one designed for uh, property developers or people refurbishing properties. So it's called the Technobox Tronny, that's the safe um, and then there's the Technobox which is the box here I have on the left. And to explain, so we get contacted quite often um, from people in new build properties and some of them, you know, quite spectacular new build properties where tens of thousands of pounds have gone into um, the AV systems and lighting systems, even hundreds of thousands of pounds on some, some occasions. And the property developer or even the, the client themselves have given no consideration whatsoever to a safe. Um, and then it's all finished, all the finishes are in, and the underfloor heating is in, and all the wires in the walls, etc. And they contact us or someone like us and, and want a safe. And it, it can be a real problem finding somewhere to install a safe. And this may well be, in some circumstances, the answer. So what you have is a box, a steel box, that you install in the wall somewhere where you're going to want the safe or the client's going to want the safe um, later on um, and you just install that element just the box and that gets installed into the brickwork or the block work you've got this um, it's a steel construction you've, you've got this piece of extrusion here and the same on the bottom which is designed for your um, concrete to key into um, so that you can install that very very firmly and flush so flush with the with the uh, outer surface uh, finish of the wall. So the developer only needs to worry themselves about installing that element of it. And what we do is we'll install a, uh, a sticker here informing the client where they can purchase the safe that will slot straight into, into the uh, receiver plate there, receiver box. And then subsequently installing the safe is really, really simple because you've got these four captive studs a bit like wheel studs on a car protruding from the inside of the box and you get your four washers and four uh, nylock nuts and i'll just turn the actual safe around a sec so that's the side view and there you see corresponding four holes in the back of the safe so it's just a case of sliding the safe into the box um, and then with the safe door open you then put your washer and a nut on each stud Tighten them up uh, with a socket set and your safe is installed. So just to demonstrate, I've inserted the safe partially into the box and, uh, and I'm gonna push it back in. And that's now the safe slid all the way into the box. As you can see, it sits just uh, a little bit deeper than flush. So as this is gonna be a wall safe and the whole thing's gonna be embedded in the wall, um, then the typical thing is to hang up a picture over the front of it so you don't see it at all as i've done here and as we remove that that will reveal your safe so tenomax actually make this unit in two sizes and we've decided that it we're only going to keep the larger of the two if you're going to be putting a safe in a wall you may as well put the largest that you can um, and that's going to be this one here so it's the tenomax tronny and it's the uh, BGT-5, and in this instance, it's the P, and the P gives us emergency keys that I'll explain in a second. But your dimensions are, the external dimensions are 340 millimeters high by 460 millimeters wide and 197 millimeters deep. And your internal dimensions, 315 high, 435 wide, 147 deep and you've got a, uh, a weight of 25 kilograms and internal capacity um, quite generous 21 liters we'll look at that in a sec no box um, is and it's the larger one so it's the box five three four seven high four six six wide and 202 millimeters deep so your depth is 202 millimeters from here to here oh i'll do that again from here to here 
I'll just check that actually. Um, it's 207 millimeters, so it's slightly more the depth, um, which is quite important when you're looking at a wall safe to make sure that you've got the depth in the wall. Obviously, you don't want the back of the safe being, you know, outside if you like. So you would need a wall or a chimney breast or something where you're going to install it, which is, you know, significantly deeper than the 207 millimeters. You know, double ideally, um, unusual to find that kind of wall thickness in the UK. But like I say, if it's something that you're, you know, you're developing a property or, or um, building a property or making some refurbishments, then you might be able to allow somewhere for this, you know, make a wall in a certain area that's a bit thicker to accommodate your, your hidden safe. So the safe itself, I've got it tipping back a bit here because uh, because of the nature of it, the door's quite heavy. So as I open it, it wants to tip forward. I've had to put a bit of scrap wood underneath just so that I can demonstrate it to you. But this is the same type of construction as our Bloomsbury unit, um, which uh, you may have seen. And um, I'll link to that video now, top right-hand corner, um, which give you a bit more idea about the the nature of the construction of it but essentially what you've got is a 10 millimeter slab of solid steel which is which forms your your front of your safe and this is cut out with a laser and they use a very fine laser technique um so that you're it's a one piece for the door and that means that this is a very narrow gap i can barely get my fingernail in so any burglar trying to you know bang a wedge or something in there's not going to be successful there just isn't the gap has battery operated with a six digit code to open it. And I mentioned the emergency keys. There's the emergency keys and that's the emergency keyhole. So you just peel that away um, and that reveals the keyhole. Do that now. That reveals the keyhole. And you do get a couple of spares of those there. E for emergency. Your two keys and your key goes in. And if, you know, if you've forgotten your code, then you can, or the battery's flat, you can open the, uh, the safe using the key. And there's another way of powering it. So if your battery does go flat, you've got these two metallic terminals on the outside, marked minus and plus, and you can just hold like a nine volt battery against there, open the safe, and then replace your batteries on the inside. Opening the safe, as it stands, it's locked, so that's just not going to open. We hit on the factory code, which is six ones, and then enter, and you should hear a little click. That's the solenoid that's gone, and while that OK light is illuminated, I can turn the knob. And now the safe's open. Hopefully it won't fall on me. It's a bit awkward because, as I say, I've got it leaning forward on a piece of wood. Once it's in the wall, it would be effortless to open it. And that's the safe now open. And the batteries live in that little door there. So you have a, uh, a shelf in there. But here's the studs that I was referring to. So now they've gone through the holes. Let me just turn the flash on one sec. Yeah, so there's the four studs um, that you'll just do your washer and your nylock. So slide one over and then you would then do that up with a socket set and the safe's installed. You've got a shelf which is removable if you don't want it in there, that can be removed. I'll just stow it down the bottom like that. And I've put it back now just to show you kind of things you can get into the safe. That's a sort of typical luxury watch box which will fit in the safe but you're going to do a slight manoeuvre to do that. And in fact, I'll just put it in front of the stud. You, you'd probably get four of those in there if um, watches are your thing and you still have a little bit of room. Again, with the shelf removed, you would get one of our uh, fire retardant uh, document bags in here. And there will be a link in a second to explain what that is. But looking at the door, here you can see that 10 millimeter slab of steel. Then you've got your revolving locking points. There's three down the side. You've also got one at the top, one at the bottom, and you've got a, um, a welded reinforced receiving plate for the bolts So on three sides. So it's very, very strong. Bear in mind, the rest of your strength from the safe is coming from your concrete that you're going to surround it with. Uh, we have got a video on our website that um, shows you uh, some tips on installing it. Uh, these are a uh, fabulous quality product. Um, as I've mentioned in other videos, I've been to the factory and met... Um, the founder of the company and that it's really state of the art it's an amazing place uh, in italy to see insurance rating wise this is going to give you uh, a rating of four thousand pounds in cash or a multiple of 10 for your valuables so up to forty thousand pounds worth of valuables so um, we don't install wall safes or even this type of uh, box 
device, you know, it's going to be down to your, your builder to install the box and then, you know, the homeowner or handyman can just install the safe. You've seen how easy it is just to slide it in there. And um, if you want one of these, these are available on our website, uh, which is uh, londonsafes.co.uk. Um, well, if they're not available immediately, they will be very, very soon. Otherwise, um, just get in touch um, and you can buy the the two as a set or you can buy the, the box to install now and then buy the safe at a later date. I think it's an absolute genius idea. Uh, you'll have seen a couple of times during this video, I've put my WhatsApp number up so that you can get in touch. I've just put it up now. Um, that, so that's my own personal WhatsApp number. Um, send me a message. Uh, and I'm happy to answer any questions about anything safe related that you um, might want to ask. Um, it's not really for calls. If you want to call, it's sort of office hours and it's on 0208 445 0001. Otherwise, messages on the WhatsApp are um, no problem at all. And I mentioned uh, earlier on about the fire retardant uh, wallet, document wallet. So if you are buying a safe from us, um, there's a few accessories that you can you can purchase at checkout. And I'm going to cut to a video that I made on a different day now that I use all the time. And it's going to look a bit out of sequence uh, that explains those. So uh, hopefully you're going to buy a safe from us and we're going to come and install it for you. So during the checkout process, if you are doing that, and thank you if you are, there's a number of accessories that you can purchase. Um, so the first one um, is a automatic light, battery operated, three AAA cells, um, and it's got a little movement sensor, and that pops onto the underside of the top of the safe. And as you open the safe, the light comes on, illuminates the contents. Very useful for um, yeah, dark cupboards or wardrobes, things like that, so you can see what's going on in there. Um, then we have this, which is a flame retardant wallet, so you can put your A4 documents and bits and pieces in there to, for extra fire protection. We have a carpet base. If you want um, a, a carpet in the bottom of your safe, as you see, they don't come with one. If you want one, then that's an optional extra. Um, this is a pair of um, Faraday pouches for putting car keys in. Um, cloning, key cloning theft of cars is very, very common now. You put your keys in here, and the people with the dodgy equipment can't pick up the signal in the house. To, to take your car away and finally we have this um, uh, dehumidifier box um, which you can put inside the safe it's reusable you can dry it out on a radiator absorbs moisture and protects things from uh, condensation because you can get condensation form inside um, a big steel box like that also useful for keeping firearms dry as well um, and these are all recommended accessories for your safe that are available at checkout so, yeah, if you want one of these, go on the website, order it. We'll send it to you. It'll be on a courier. Um, I'm not sure which one. It depends. Uh, often it's UPS. Uh, thank you very much for watching.